Hey everybody, what's going on? Occasionally, and this is it's not one of my practices, I'll revisit a video on uh, things that I've reviewed in the past. I'll revisit them because they're awful and they break or they're just completely awesome. Um, one of the things I want to show you was I've got my Swiss Army knife here. I think this one's the Master Tinker. Master Tinker or Mechanic. I think it's the Master Tinker. This has so much stuff on it, and this was the original multi-tool, my, my multi-tool. This had everything. It had a screwdriver on it, Phillips head. You had a large uh, flathead screwdriver and a bottle opener, a magnifying glass, a small flathead screwdriver with a can opener. You have... pair of pliers a ruler um, a fish scaler a pair of scissors a small blade a large blade, a file, and a hacksaw. Um, what else we got on here? We've got a corkscrew with a mini screwdriver. A toothpick. pair of tweezers, and a pen. Uh, this is like, I, st I still say it's the best, it's the best multi-tool you can ever have. That's up for debate with a lot of people, but that's the way I feel. Now talking about multi-use things like Swiss Army tools, like this one, brings me back to my, uh, Casio GZ1 uh, military grade phone. My whole life, I've ripped through phones like like nothing. I've dropped them in the water. That usually destroys them. Uh, or you get a little a little wet, it destroys them. If it get, they get too cold, they get destroyed. If you drop them, they're destroyed. Um, and so on and so forth. I've had this phone the longest I've ever had a phone my whole life. This one is about a year and a half almost two years now this one does so much stuff um, the first uh, cell phone I ever had it was literally I know a lot of you younger guys don't know it but it was as big as a shoebox it had a strap on it and this giant phone and it was $200 a month for the access and it was $2.83 a minute Unbelievable. It weighed, I think it was nine pounds, and uh, it, it came in like a little strap you, you put around your shoulder, like a, like a backpack. Ridiculous. The second phone I, I got, they, they started getting smaller and smaller, was the Motorola, they call it the brick. It was literally the size of a brick. Now, this phone has everything I could ever imagine I wanted on a phone. Uh, some of the features, it's impervious to water, salt fog nuclear pulse um it's good to 47 below zero or something like that it can be frozen in water um it can handle extreme heat it can be dropped off a seven-story building it bounces um i've even seen some people run it over the car which i wouldn't recommend but it's going to mess it all up and scratch it up but it still will work it has gps um a compass world time uh it does the tides high tide low tide when's the best time to go fishing um stargazer moon phase um i think i said gps push to talk um i have over 4500 songs on here 
Um, let's play, and the push to talk feature is great, especially when you're driving. It has Bluetooth. You just press the push talk. Please say a command. Play all songs. All songs. Playing. And the sound on this is incredible for a phone. These are speakers. Um, you've got a camera. It takes uh, live streaming movies. You've got a built-in LED flashlight. Uh, for people who always forget their flashlights, which I always forget my flashlight. Now this is the groovy feature here. Um, and I, I discussed with the water. We've got a cylinder of water here. We're gonna drop the phone right in the water. And that would be pretty much it for any other phone besides this one. So let's send it a call. It can be open too and be in the water also doesn't affect it no matter how you put it in there it doesn't affect it um, this is probably the best phone I've ever 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 had anywhere the push talk feature if I can make any recommendations no matter how drunk you get whatever you do I'll shut it off for this hold on Okay, it's off. Don't ever, no matter how drunk you get, say call the White House or call 911 because uh, you will get in trouble. I know this to be true. Um, one of the other things that I really, and this is another one, the shop phone from uh, Sears, the Craftsman shop phone, uh, goes through cement walls. I can literally drive up the street with, it's discontinued now. I think you can still get them on eBay. Um, it's got a huge uh, transmitter that goes in the wall in the other room and it transmits through walls. Um, this is like the phone the guys up in the, line, the linemen's use. Fantastic phone. I've taken it in my car and literally drove, I don't know, quarter mile up the street and it, I can still make phone calls. Um, another thing, people love to hate this knife, but Cold Steel Pocket Bushman. Uh, this thing is a tank, and, I, and I, it sharpens up so easy, and I've had such good luck with it. I never had cold steel knives before I bought this one. And when I bought this one, I absolutely loved it. But the only thing I say about it is, don't ever take it apart. It is a nightmare to put back together. I took it apart. I'm trying to think why I took it apart. Mm, oh, I took it apart to try and make it looser so I could uh, pop it open like that. And uh, it literally took me two hours to put it back together. Um, the other one is the Cold Steel Spartan. I think this is Grivery or, or FRN. Uh, I think it's the Rocky Mountain Tread Pattern or something like that. Simulates a small kukri. Um, look at the way that fits in your hand. This is a monster. Um, it takes a little getting used to. Uh, and it uses the triad lock on it. Uh, it takes a little getting used to to open it up quick, but uh, it's hard to do it in front of the camera. I can open it up a lot quicker. Very hard to use knife. Got to oil it. Don't get it wet. It will rust. Um, I've taken the rust spots off of the stone, and it is a little interesting to try and sharpen. I got to say that. I use for this one with the curvature of the blade. I use a carbide sharpener uh, because the stone doesn't work so hot with it. And uh, I think my videos getting down to its low point a lot of people say i don't do anything for the women of youtube so uh i want to do something for the women, women of youtube i'm going to show you my balls that's not something everybody does on youtube i've been wanting to show you girls my balls for a while so let me show them to you <laughs> yeah look at them 
Look at my balls. Woo! So, all kidding aside, that uh, that phone is incredible. I've never had a phone I, I like so much, and I, I really think it'll last for a very long time. My balls even rattle. So, uh, that's going to be my video for today. Uh, YouTube approached me like a week ago and asked me if uh, I wanted to sign up for AdSense. And I had tried to sign up for AdSense once before, a few years back when I had a, a, a large channel, and uh, they shot me down. Well, I, I signed up for AdSense the other, AdSense the other day, and uh, I actually made my first money on YouTube. Amazing. I made one cent. Yeah, that's the way I felt. But, like I said, I don't do these videos to try and take your money or anything like that. But I thought it was funny. So maybe sometime by the time I'm, I'm, I'm shooting for maybe 85, 86 years old, I'll get 100 bucks. But if I do, I will put it toward uh, the new handgun I want to buy. I watched Sackett68's uh, video on his new SR9. And I got really pumped about it. And I went to the store the other day and I looked at the uh, SR40 which I thought was really cool. And it was between that and the XD. And I've always had an issue with the triggers. I just didn't dig them. Um, I played around with the SR40 and uh, I don't know. When I when I put it up against the uh, the XD45, uh, I, I just really liked the XD better. The Ruger was a very, very nice gun. But uh, the XD45 with that extra safety on it, the extra safety, so you have the trigger safety, the uh, grip safety, and the additional uh, uh, thumb safety. I, I don't know what it is. I just love that little barrel stamp, that, those little cannons that are crossed on there. I'm just a weirdo. I just held the gun, and I was like, oh, my God, this is my next gun. So I'm going to get uh, the XD45 uh, compact with the extra safety so I'm saving for it now I have exactly five dollars and seventy cents saved so that'll be a much later video all right guys later